as we slowly begin this practice, let us just right away gift ourselves some compassion. Remembering that feeling others' emotions as well as our own can be so much to carry. So for the next few minutes, let's turn inwards, doing our best to make space for ourselves, cultivate peace and safety within our bodies, and maybe even understand our emotional experience a bit better. Let's first begin with our breath, letting our attention rest here as we inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. As we start to settle in, if you haven't already done so, find a little comfort in your body, either choosing to sit or lay down, perhaps taking some gentle stretches as you begin to find stillness. Whatever feels accessible and pleasant in your body today. Just start there and know that wherever you're at in this moment, it is enough. You are enough. Go ahead and deepen your breath here doing so by extending the exhale to be slightly longer than the inhale. Perhaps lengthening it to be twice as long as the inhale. In time, there's no rush to get there. Just slow it down however feels best for you today. Let's now take some time to tune into our emotions, noticing what's coming up for you as we do so. If it feels like there is a whirlwind of emotions within you, try your best to focus only on the strongest one. Perhaps you have a name for it, but know that it's okay if you don't yet know what to call it. Take a moment to describe how this emotion feels in your body today. Observe where it's showing up. Notice if there is any accompanying tension. Perhaps you notice heat or coolness there. And maybe there's even a color associated with this feeling for you. As best as we can, let's sit with this emotion together. 
Breathing deeply, allowing this emotion the time and space that it needs to be felt and understood. Anytime it feels too strong, maybe even overwhelming, breathe deep and imagine your breath creating more space for it to exist within you. Reflect for a moment, inquiring if this emotion is your own or if it may be coming from someone else. Maybe someone you recently had contact with. Perhaps someone who shared something with you, a close friend or a member of your family. or maybe even a recent movie or show that was emotionally charged. Wherever this emotion arose from, notice how you're responding to its presence. Observe any desire to be rid of this emotion and become aware of the language that you are using towards this emotion and towards yourself. If you're willing, allow yourself to breathe deeply and sit with it without trying to change anything at all. Just breathe. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. can to just allow this very natural human experience of emotion to exist. And remind yourself that you can care for others while also knowing their emotions are not yours to carry. Take a deep breath in, filling belly and lungs completely. Pause for a moment at the top of the breath. And exhale through the mouth as slowly as feels comfortable. In the world we live in, it takes courage to face these emotions, which the world has taught us are no good. That we shouldn't feel anything other than happiness. And if we do, that something within us is broken. So as you go into your week or the rest of your day, if you're willing, see if you can change the narrative you've inherited when it comes to emotions. Remembering that every emotion we experience is natural 
they are neither good nor bad. They simply are. They tell us what's important. They remind us how we'd like to be treated. They give us insight into our values, our strengths, our priorities. Sitting with this for a moment or two, let's begin to wrap up this practice. Taking cleansing breaths in through the nose. Calming breaths out through the mouth. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Take good care.